trade based on hierarchy. So based upon our hierarchy that I showed you, the dollar is the strongest, and the first one is the euro. So I'm going to do the. I'm going to do the dollar euro, dollar Swiss, dollar CAD, dollar Aussie, and then I'm going to do the euro pound, pound Swiss, pound CAD, pound Aussie. Okay, and I'm going to keep the yen to the end. <coughs> so having said that, let's start with the euro. The euro, as I said, we are in a, a bear market with, with regards to the euro. From last week, I'm going to show you our radar screen from last week. For the euro dollar, we are short from the 137.48. 137.48. This was the trade that we did from last week, which is right there. And this is where we are today. And now we're going to see we're we're looking of course for continuation to the downside we have a very important point price level which is the 133.37 okay now this 133.37 is a very strong structural point and i have my momentum low here of 133.61 so between my structure point and the the uh, the other structure point is about 30 pips this should give me because I have two levels here this will be something looking like this it's going to give me two levels or two zones if you will you see this yet the distance between this yellow line and the blue line that distance that means that this is going to be a thick layer of support. Why? Because we had two areas of decision making where they held the market or reversed. So if it holds, it's going to be hold for a while. And if it breaks, it's going to lead to capitulation. So we are going to stay short with the euro. We are going to watch what it does at or around the 133.62 or the 133.37 as you can see let me so if it breaks now here I'm going to look for a further capitulation so I'm looking, wha I want it, it will pause a little bit at or around somewhere between the 60 and the 33 level. And once it breaks, and it should break, I'm looking for a push down to the 131.15. And if you take that break, you're going to stay with it because y this is going to be one of the best moves that we can get. Okay? So with that, the only concern I have is that the close is pretty much near the low of the session. These kind of closes I... So what we are going to do is we are going to identify an entry on the short side for the euro. So in this case, I want to take it when it trades below the low. I have a, one of the previous lows, which is the 133.86. So in this case, I'm going to take it, I'm going to identify the low of the day, and that is 133.67. So my short, and this is how we do it, my short now, instead of, this was our short last week, I'll show you, our short last week, so I'm going to change that now to become 133.68. And if I take it short, right below the low, you have to keep in mind that this is a big momentum to the downside. So we have to give it a big wide stop because we're looking for a capitulation. So your stop would be right above the market side. And this is where the this market side is one of our uh, proprietary indicators that we use. That's the only indicator we use in our software on the way we trade and it is 
stash in unique and so I'm going to place my stop right above here so my stop is going to be here it's a big stop but that's again that is as a result of the volatility so if you guys want to if you don't have the software you can take the first break or make sure that it wait it breaks below the low of the day looking at all these momentum zones that I have over here it does all these are level of resistance on the way up this is where uh, so there is no for I this means that the euro has to go above this level this level this level this level before and it's going to be very practically impossible so there is no reason for us to even think of buying the euro unless it gets up here so we are going to buy it only above the 135.60 and if I do buy it I can place my stop anywhere over here because all of these are strong levels of support but I'm going to use this one here below the 135.20 as my stop because as we see the software is uh, lining up for us the level where the market has been buying the uh, the star okay so in this case this is how we're going to uh, and you take these numbers that I'm going to put together with you and you put it on your uh, your chart during the weekend so so for example now my uh, if I'm going to go short below 133.68 this is my stop so my short stop is going to be 134.45 okay that is here my stop on the long side I'm going to be buying it above 135.60 and if I'm and I'm placing my stop 135.20 I'm going to show you that on the chart again and my structure long I can pick it up here from the chart my structure long the nearest structure long that makes any difference to me right now is the uh, the 136.55 so my structure long is the 136 and my structure short is the 133.45 okay so this is going to be our plan for trading the euro dollar tomorrow we're going to buy the euro if it goes only above the 135.60 my structure long which is above it is going to be the 136.55 and if I buy it at 135.60 my stop is 135.20 so I'm risking on my long side if I buy it I'm risking only 40 pips on the short side I'm going to sell it below 133.68 and if I do I have to put a stop which is about at 133 at 134.45 which is about 80 pips away yes it's a big stop but that is the volatility that the euro is in today and any trader that sneezes in this market will push it that market 20 30 pips in either direction so if you have to trade a volatile market this means that you have to have your stop wide otherwise you will be stopped out and therefore you might as well give your broker your money so you have to put the right stop in the right market otherwise you will be 
your chance of making money is going to be diminished and you're going to lose money. So if you're going to take a short, make sure that you give it sufficient stop. And in this case, I'm suggesting this allocation of the 134.45 on this. And your downward target should be somewhere towards the next structural point, which is the uh, the 131.50. Okay? Now let me save this and then I'm going to answer your question.